Hi friends at New Creation, it's Rebecca, and this month uh, we're going to focus our children's time on books featuring black characters, um, some by black authors, um, we have some by white authors, some by Hispanic authors, and one by um, a Jewish author. So you'll get to see lots of beautiful children's books featuring black characters, and that's because it is Black History Month in the month of February. So I want to share with you some of my favorite books that we use in our family to celebrate Black History Month. The first book is a book about books, and it's called How to Read a Book. It's by Newbery Medalist. That means it's an author who has won a really big award for chapter books for kids, Kwame Alexander. And it's illustrated by the Caldecott Nomin uh, honoree. So the Caldecott Award is for books that have excellent illustrations. And the illustrator is Melissa Sweet. So um, you can see it here. It's called How to Read a Book. You might think you know how to read a book, but maybe you'll get some tips here to really read and enjoy books. How to Read a Book by Kwame uh, Alexander, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Do you see the ABCs in this page? And Kwame Alexander dedicates it to Samea, and Melissa Sweet dedicates it to Dana. First, find a tree. Black Tupelo or Dawn Redwood will do and plant yourself. Maybe in Kansas, we would pick an Osage orange. It's okay if you prefer a stoop, like Langston Hughes. Do you know the poet Langston Hughes? He's actually uh, from Kansas. He was a little boy, and when he was a little, when he was a little boy, he lived in Lawrence, Kansas. He liked to used to sit on the front stoop and read. Once you're comfy, peel its gentle skin like you would a clementine. The color of sunrise. the scent of morning air, and sweet butterfly kisses. Hmm. Next, dig your thumb at the bottom of each juicy section. Pop the words out. These words say, once upon a time. Piece by piece, part by part, page by rustling page. Then, when the sun is so quiet, watch a novel world unfurl right before your eyes. Surprise! It's a book party. Stacked with all your favorite friends, a picnic of words and sounds in leaps and bounds. I like this guitar player. This page opens up. All different kinds of books. See the bus driver? He's driving a bus made of books. Sweet. 
So get real cozy between the covers, right, the, the covers of a book, and let your fingers wander as they wander. Squeeze every morsel of each plump line into the last drop of magic drips from the infinite sky. And bursts, oops, and bursts of orange Explode beneath a perfect purple moon. Don't rush through. Your eyes need time to taste. Your soul needs room to bloom. Now, sleep, dream, hope, you'll never reach the end. I like how this book is about when you read books, you can use all of your senses. You can smell them, can you taste them? No, don't do that. But when you read a book, it might even make you feel like you can taste it. And you can imagine what the, the words um, that are used in the book. You can imagine the things that they describe and how the things that they describe can taste and look and see. And you can imagine that you can even go to a different world and that the story never ends. You could even finish the book and keep thinking about the story. And I hope that you're able to do that with this book and with the next books that we're going to read each week this month. If you have a favorite book by a black author or uh, featuring black people, I would love to hear it. Black characters from history, um, real, real people from history um, or fictional characters. I would love to hear about it. So you can tell me or you can tell a grown up in your house or if you have an older sibling in your house, you can tell them. And you can ask them to read books to you, too, if you're not a reader yet. I hope you have a good week. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.